Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a speed word problem as it appears on the SAT exam. So we have the distance between Frank and Aunt Jane's house is exactly 147 miles. If he drove two-thirds of the distance in 140 minutes, what was his average speed in miles per hour? So we could start off with a simple diagram. We have point F, this will represent Frank, and point J could represent Aunt Jane's house. And we know that the distance between Frank and Aunt Jane's house is 147 miles. This information was given to us. So now, the second sentence of this problem tells us that he drove two-thirds of the distance. So we look at this diagram here and we section off two-thirds. So what we're looking for first, two-thirds of the distance, is two-thirds of 147 miles because the total distance between Frank and Aunt Jane's house is 147 miles so if he drove two-thirds of the distance we're looking for two-thirds of 147 miles but what we need to note is that in math and with any type of standardized test this word here of translates to multiply So we can replace two-thirds of 147 miles with two-thirds times 147 miles. And if we call this 147 miles over 1, we could punch this directly into our calculator. Or we can note that 147 divided by 3 is 49, and 49 times 2 is 98. So we have 98 miles. So just to finish this thought, two-thirds of 147 miles is 98 miles. So this means he drove 98 miles in 140 minutes. What was his average speed in miles per hour? Well, what we need to note here is average speed we find this by measuring distance over time. Make that a little bit neater. So we have average speed is equal to distance over time. So we have these two pieces of information. We know the distance he traveled is 98 miles. And the amount of time that it took Frank to drive this was 140 minutes. But this is where we need to be careful because we can't just simplify this and have our answer. Our answer needs to be in miles per hour. And right now we're in miles per minute. So we need to multiply this ratio by 60 minutes over one hour. And what this accomplishes, minutes in the numerator and minutes in the denominator will cancel. And now we could just punch this in in our calculator, 98 times 60 divided by 140, or we could just note that common zeros will cross off and now we have 98 divided by 14 is 7 and 7 times 6 is equal to 42 and now the only units of measurement that were left behind were miles in the numerator and hour in the denominator so we have 42 miles per hour is our answer to this problem so we could go over to our answer choice and we would select choice B in this case. So just to recap, we use this concept of finding percents or fractions of a number. So we found two-thirds of 147 and now we found, we found that to be 98 miles and we did 98 miles divided by 140 minutes but we needed this in miles per hour so we multiply by 60 minutes over one hour and we arrive at 42 miles per hour. Okay, well this is going to conclude this speed word problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this video was helpful.